two flights chartered by the U.S. State Department landed in California early on Wednesday, carrying over 300 Americans evacuated from Wuhan, China, the epicenter of the fast-spreading coronavirus outbreak. One plane refueled and flew to a Marine Corps base in San Diego, while 178 passengers on the other plane will stay in a hotel at the Travis Air Force Base, closer to San Francisco, for the remainder of their 14-day quarantine. They're classified as being at high risk of exposure. CDC official Henry Walk. 14 days is the longest incubation period ever observed with coronaviruses. This legal order is part of our aggressive public health response and will also protect the health of the individuals as well as their families and their communities. Walk said one small child who had a fever on the flight is being evaluated at a nearby hospital. And all other evacuees are undergoing twice daily health checks. Walk told reporters there are some guidelines for evacuees in the days to come. They are being restricted to this area under quarantine. Um, they're not being restricted to their rooms. We are asking them to have some social distancing, more than six feet between family units, and not have, um, for example, kids. Uh, we don't want them to share toys, for example, as much as we can between the families. It's all part of a multi-tiered effort to stop any potential spread of the virus in the United States. After just days ago, the Trump administration declared the coronavirus a public health emergency to ensure they've not contracted the virus. The United States and other countries are seeking to evacuate their citizens from China, where the coronavirus outbreak has killed over 500 people. 12 cases have been confirmed in the U.S., with the latest case reported in Wisconsin on Wednesday.